Hello, in the video coming up, I will show you how you can hide your files or folders in Chrome OS. If you've used a Microsoft Windows computer, you'll know there's a really easy way to hide files or folders in the operating system. And it's just the same with Chrome OS because it's Linux based and this is how you can do it with your Chromebook or your Chromebox. And it's, don't get me wrong, it's not, it's not the most secure way to hide files. Anyone who knows how to look for hidden files will be able to find them but it is one of the easiest way to hide files. So it's not something I would use if you've got something that's very private and you don't want people who use your account to see, but it is a really easy way just to hide files. So anyone who just quickly has a look at your computer wouldn't necessarily see that those files are there. So it, it, it's, it's fine to use for casual use, but it's not going to be great if you've got private files. If that's the case, then really it's best not to have them or don't let anyone use your account as that's the only way really that you can make sure that your files are kept private. So what I'll do now then, I'll pop over to my Chromebox and we can take a look how you can hide your files on Chrome OS. Okay, so here we are on the Chromebook desktop, sort of the Chrome OS desktop, shall I say, you could be using a Chromebox. Just click, quickly go to files down here and then we're gonna do this in the downloads folder here. And I've created a test folder here. So as you can see, it's just a standard folder and inside that folder, there's two files. So if I wanted to hide one of these files, what you would need to do first is to go up here and you need to go to show hidden files. So if you didn't do that first, what you would have, if you right click here, click rename, and what you do, you would put a full stop at the beginning and then just click away from it. You would see name starting with dot are reserved for system files, please choose another name. So that's why it doesn't work until you go up here and then you need to go to show hidden files. So you show hidden files and you will see then there is some things here that are system files which will show, which I wouldn't really mess about with, but your downloads folder as standard is just looks the same, it's all fine. And then go into here and then we'll do the same one here. So I wanna hide this one, so just right click rename and just put a full stop or a period at the front there and then just click off to rename it and as you can see you can see that dot there now and then go to here and click show hidden files take that off and the file has gone now the good thing is if you go to here and click show hidden files so you can see your files that's fine now you don't need to close down your system to change this setting. So you don't need to keep on worrying about this. If you close down the file manager, that automatically puts it back to the default, which is not to show hidden files. So as you can see, it's not there. So every time you open up a file manager, as long as you close the file managers, you won't see the file. And the same as that as well, you could, if we show hidden files again, just rename that. If you wanted to take it off, you just get rid of the dot. Full stop, period, whatever you call it. Okay, and then go back. You could do the folder as well. So if we do the test folder, just rename, change it to dot, click there. And then it's on, show hidden files. As you can see, close down that with files, you open this and that will automatically get rid of that and there you see it's not there. So to see the folders that are hidden or the files, you'd have to click on show hidden files. So that's a really easy way to do it. One thing I would um, suggest is, and this is why I've never really used this too much, but the benefit is, I guess, if you've got stuff in your downloads folder that you want to keep, and, and maybe you have people who do use your Chromebook, but there's files that you don't want them to mess about with, but they're not necessarily private files. 
So as I said, because it's not really secure for that. that it's a good way of doing it that way because it's unlikely a casual user, the first time you open up this would go, oh, let's have a look at that. It, it's just not really something they would necessarily do. So it's a good way if, if you've got files or it's a good way to unclutter your downloads folder. So if there's certain things you want to keep in your download folder, it's a good way to unclutter it. The only thing I would say about hidden files is that you do, really need, you do need to remember that you've got hidden files. Because if you don't remember, if for example you hide a file or a folder and then you completely forget about it, what would happen if you decided to back up your Chromebook or you wanted to refresh, do a, 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 a refresh of your Chromebook by doing um, a factory reset, you would have to, you would most likely go into your downloads folder and make a backup copy of all your files, but you'd forget about the ones that are hidden and they would be then obviously removed when you do a power wash of your Chromebook. So that's the only thing I would suggest that you do need to be careful of, but it's a very good way to hide files that you may not want them to be easily seen when you open up your file manager. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like and subscribe to the channel for future videos and thanks for watching.